be like, oh yeah, this is just work. I am a servant of the Most High God, and I'm here to just yes, hallelujah. Yes. So when I was there, um, he said, and I said, okay, so you've told me all these things. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Go and tell her what I've told you. <laughs> and I'm like, no, but but no, no. See, <laughs> I don't know her. I don't know her. Mm. I, I've never. She's gonna think I'm crazy. Mm. She's gonna mm. think I'm out, out of my mind. Sure. What if you're not? What if this is just me thinking this? Yeah. <laughs> right. I was so scared. But I was like, Holy Spirit, I, I knew in my heart, when the Holy Spirit convicts me, I cannot leave until I accomplish Amen. what he Amen. said. Yes. I can't, because if yes. I do, it will kill, it will hurt. Mm. So I, I got up on my courage and I was like, you know, oh gosh, <laughs> God, just help me. I, I'm going to look like I'm crazy, but I have you. Yes. I have you. Yes. So I went up yes. to her and she was talking so. on the phone with her mom. And I was like, I didn't I didn't even care not to, intru- to intrude. I just t- talked to her. I was like, the Holy Spirit just used me. This was not me. Because mm. if it was me, I would have left the moment. Come on, that I come on. That's the part. That's right. And um, so I went up to her and I'm like, excuse yeah. me, um, are you pregnant? She goes like, because I felt the Holy Spirit telling me something. He, he didn't say she is pregnant, but he said, I heard the word pregnant. Mm. And right. then I heard abortion. Mm. Okay. And so I was like, are you pregnant? She goes like, no. So then I'm in this place like, Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not, but I was like, no, I have come too far not to turn back. Amen. I will, and do you know, I feel like God was watching me in that mm-hmm. moment, saying, "Are you gonna run, or are you yeah. gonna stay true to mm-hmm. what I've told you to do?" Mm-hmm. I stayed, and I said, "Okay," and I'm like, um, "I just feel like God is saying things about you," and I started speaking to her, mm-hmm. and she hung up the phone with her mom. And she said, everything that you have said is true. Wow. She showed me, the Holy Spirit showed me cuts mm. because she cuts herself. Mm. She And I told her, do you cut yourself? She she was in disbelief. Mm. She showed me her arms like this mm. and there were cuts. Mm. Do you know, I was shaking because I couldn't even believe the glory of God right wow. now. I couldn't even Hallelujah. believe it. I'm like, what is happening right now? How mm. is it possible? Mm. And in that moment, she came to, she's born again. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Yes. Yes. I have never, I have never seen someone with so much fire for God. I have been telling her she wants to get baptized. She already, she already like ripped her past apart. She was depressed. Do you know she told me she wanted to commit suicide that very day? Mm. And do you understand? The Holy Spirit brings me because he told me, what if you hadn't listened to me that day? Mm. What if Mm. you hadn't listened? What if I had been obedient? Yes. What would it, what would have happened to Thank that girl? And I feel like that's the message the Holy Spirit is saying. Mm. That's the message of God is saying. So, wake up! Uh, wake yes. up! There are people who need Jesus. Yes. There are people who need you yes. to be taught. People who need yes. you to step out yes. of your box, step yes. out of your comfort zone, and reach yes. out. Yes. Give us freely as you have received. Yes. We have received salvation by nothing. nothing. Yes. So when I walk on the streets now, it's like if I see someone who I will just be like. Do you need prayers? You, I am so serious. Yes. I will talk. I will because I've received salvation. I know the power of Christ in me. I the Bible says that I can cast out demons. Yes. I can rebuke. I can rebuke any evil. Yes. yes. I can heal. Yes. And like Pastor said, we are all ministers. Yes. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. This this generation. Um, the way the devil is using um, this generation, a lot of what I've noticed is it's consumed. The, the world deceives you. Live now. Live in the now. That's what you need. That's what you need to set your life forever. But you know what? God says wisdom is when you look at the future. Yes. Because this, we're pilgrims here on earth. We're yes. only pilgrims. Yes. We're not here to stay. Yes. And if we live for the now, what's going to happen when we get up there? Mm. On the seat, when God is sitting on a seat of judgment. Yes. And we are like, well, I, 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 yeah. I work so hard for all this money. I worked so hard for all this wealth. Come on, preach it. I, I did so much. Mm. You know, here's my degree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Talk about it. Mm-hmm. Here's my degree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what am I going to do? Yeah. Do you think your degree helped oh, out people to come to me? Yes. Do you guys know the ultimate most? Honestly, I've come to a place in my life where I realize there's nothing that is of any meaning when you think about Jesus. Yes. Nothing. Yes. Nothing. You could go through life, and I've realized that. Now I live every day like, 
God, what do you want me to do? I'm ready. Mm. What yes. do you want? Where do you want to take yes. me? I'm ready. I will go. Mm. Because this life, we are we have been wrecked salvation, first of all, because Jesus loved us, but secondly, to spread the love and spread the joy yes. and, yes. and yes. the truth. Yes. Gospel preachers, that's what mm. we're supposed to be. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And um, the way that, I mean, you see on commercials all the time, sort out your re- retirement plan. Use your money to buy this new rental car. Mm. Use mm. your money to, you know, take your wife on a beautiful vac- vacation. Mm. You know, all those things. God never said they were bad. But mm. what the devil has done is he uses them as distractions. Yes. Major distractions. Yes. There's nothing bad about education. I'm not speaking against education. I'm not speaking about enjoying yourself on a vacation. I'm sure God wants you to enjoy yourself on a vacation. But when you focus on those things, instead of thinking about the poor, thinking about the needy, Mm -hmm. thinking about... What? Uh, where's this all gonna go? Do you know everything will fade away? Yeah. It come will on, fade away. that's right, that's right. But we need to be focused on the things that are to come. Come on, the things mm. that are to come, and we need to stop thinking about how to make my life comfortable right Jesus. now. How do I make myself comfortable? Wow. How, how do I, you know, how do I improve oh. my standards of wow. living? When people are struggling, wow. they are dying on the streets because mm. of food, no water. Mm. That is a di- that is like and what are we doing? If you even have a bed to sleep on, you are blessed. Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What are we doing? Thinking about retirement plans when we can put our faith in God. Say, God, I'm gonna give and I'll trust that you you'll Come start on. out. That's there. right. Yeah. Praise God. You will start Praise out God. Retirement. Praise God. Yeah. Yes. If we just had a heart Glory. of giving instead of taking and saving up, do you know the Proverbs says, if you're stingy, you will lose it. You That's will right. Lose. And trust me, oh my gosh, you mm. just have to be able to give. Yes. Say, God, I, I'm not going to try to think about my future standards of living. Mm. I'm going to think about, you've given me this money right now. How can I use it to glorify you? And yes. Trust me, God will return, he will return yeah. all Amen. that stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Jesus actually himself, he modeled the, these things for us. Mm-hmm. We have no excuse. That's right. At all. Come on, speak it. That's you right. You know what he said to his disciples? He said, and then he told them, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Yes. You know, I had to come to a really hard place in my life because I, the past week, God has really been putting correction and discipline and humility in my life. Mm. Because he showed me things about myself that I didn't even know were there. And I was like, you know when God corrects you, you feel so sad. You're like, oh, I, I, know I love you. And I can't believe I'm. this heart is filled with so much deceit. Yes. This flesh is so not of you. Mm. But I felt like he had to remind me that to show me what his great deeds are for those who he loves. Mm. And um, I had to question myself. Just as This was a journey. And be like, am I do when people see me out there, do they know that I'm a child of the most high God? And do you know, even now it has started to go even into the way we dress. You around the world, it may seem like everything's failing, but I'm telling you, the spirit of God is moving to the point where we actually start thinking, Am I dressed modestly before God? Am mm. I dressed in an appropriate way mm. to represent the kingdom of God in a world that is not? Mm. Mm. And it's absolutely insane because these are the end days. The end days, God, yes. God will pour out his spirit upon. Old men will dream dreams. Yes. Young people will see vision and yes. Prophesy. Yes. Yes. Right. Praise <laughs> God. Praise <laughs> God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. So Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. We have no excuses for the Son of Man return. That's right. We have no. So, um, First Thessalonians five, chapter five, two to eight says, mm. "The day of the Lord's return will come unexpectedly." Mm. Like a thief in the night. Wow. When people are saying everything is peaceful and secure. Mm-hmm. Sounds mm-hmm. like a retirement? Mm-hmm. That's right. Does it that right. that to you? Does That's it right. not? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then disaster will fall on them as suddenly as a pregnant woman. That's right. Labor pains begin. Mm. And there will be no guys. There will be no escape. There will be no escape. But you, there's hope. But yes. you, yes. you, yes. Yes. you, yes. you aren't in the dark about these things. We're mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. Dear brothers and sisters, and you won't be surprised mm-hmm. when the day of the Lord comes like a thief. We'll be like, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We have lived our lives for you. We have lived our lives for you. 
for you, God. Yes. Yes. And you yes. won't be surprised when the day of the Lord comes like a thief. For you are all children of the light. Children of the light. Yes. Mm. Children of the light and of the day. We don't belong to darkness and night. So mm. be on your guard. Not asleep like the others. Mm. Not mm. asleep like the others. Stay, stay alert. Wow. Wow. And be clear-headed. Mm. Yes. Night is the time when people sleep and drinkers get drunk. But let us who live in the light be clear-headed, protected by the armor of faith and love, yes. and wearing as our helmet the confidence of our salvation. Yes. yes. We are not in the dark. Yes. And we need to stop looking like the dark. I feel yes. like it's enough now. Yes. We, we need to, yesterday I was crying out to God and I, I've never, I'm telling you guys, I'm such a work in progress. Mm. There's so many things that God is still doing. And I, yeah. I know even when I die, I won't have gone to where I need to be. Mm. But I thank God because he's working on me every yes, day. Yes. Yesterday I was praying and I've just seen this growth, this growth in my prayer life. And mm. I was just praying and I felt the spirit cry out to God. Mm. Is it not enough? Mm. Have mm. I not, have I not done enough? Mm. How long, how long, God, how long will this keep going on? Mm. How long will I have to bear mm. this pain? Mm. Do you know we grieve the Holy Spirit by not doing what God says? Amen. And God tells us to go preach the gospel, so why are we not? Right. Mm. By that, we're grieving the Spirit of God. That's and good. I felt like he was crying out, God, how long? Mm. Return, how long till how long? you return? Yes, because Lord. not enough people are living out the, the gospel of Christ. Not yeah. enough people are... Going out of their comfort zone, allowing themselves to be labeled as weird, as mm. as you right. know, you're not normal. Mm. I I take pride. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Because you know, when you know you're normal, Amen. you're not doing right by God. Yes. Mm. God says we're not born to be of the world. That's right. That's right. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And Hallelujah. you know what's so beautiful about our God? You guys? He gives us free will. 